Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris, and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another Crypto Basics video tutorial. And in today's video, we're going to look to add Binance Smart Chain BEP20 BNB to our Nano Ledger. If you enjoy this sort of content and you want to support the channel, mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Right, let's get down to Ledger Live. Okay, so we are on the manager uh, side of things on the Ledger Live application. So really simple. I mean, we don't even need to search for it. It's the third one down. So Binance Smart Chain in brackets BNB. So we're going to click install. Uh, that's going to obviously you have to make sure you have your Nano Ledger on. We've now got that installed. Uh, and we can add an account. So all we need to do is open up the um, Binance Smart Chain uh, wallet or account on the ledger itself. And you have to do that physically on the ledger. So we're just going to wait for this uh, to complete its syn synchronization. And then look at that. We've managed to add Binance Smart Chain. So if we click on that there, we can now receive um or we can buy on this platform so what we'll do is we'll go over to binance smart chain and we'll look at how you actually you know look to to purchase some um binance smart chain some bnb okay so here we are on binance and um we're going to look to to make a purchase of bnb so we've got some tether on the account currently uh, so if we go down here we can see we've got limit order we've got market order and we've got stop dash limit so um really the the two that we want to be using if we're just making a purchase and we're going to put it on our ledger uh, you've got your limit order which basically means that you can select a price that you're willing to pay and then you can buy it uh on here right or you can go market and this is basically going to say right whatever the price is up here right now you can buy it at that price so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a market order uh, if you want to see a limit order you can have a look on the other uh, crypto basics video tutorials but we're just going to buy a market price we've got about 19 and a half dollars worth of uh, usdt on this account so we're just going to buy it there the order has been filled so then what we're going to do is we're going to look at how do we send this crypto this bnb to our um, ledger so if we go to so we want to go to our wallet we're going to go to fear and spot and it has a list of all the cryptocurrencies that we have on this particular account and we can see we've got binance smart chain here so we're going to look to withdraw binance smart chain uh we're just going to click got it okay so bnb there we go so it's, we, we we need an address so what we need to do then in order to get the address is just go back to our ledger and then we're going to go receive um it says here please only send bnb or bep20 tokens to your Bi uh, binance smart chain accounts sending other crypto assets may result in permanent loss of funds so really important that so make sure you know, when you are selecting your network you select the right one so we're just going to verify on the actual um ledger the uh address we're going to copy it from here and then what we'll do is we'll go back over to um finance okay uh, so on binance all we're going to do really simple we're just going to paste in the address that we got from ledger now what you saw here is it, sh it straight away automatically selected the correct chain BEP20. Now, some chains or some some uh, exchanges don't do this and it makes you select. Um, so just be conscious of that. Um, you know, if you're using crypto.com as an example, sometimes it will auto populate Kronos network. Just make sure that you have BEP20, the Binance Smart Chain selected as your network. Uh, we always suggest that you you send a test transaction uh, before sending large amounts of cryptocurrency. Um, this isn't a large amount. It's like $19 worth. So we're just literally going to click withdraw, confirm, continue. And then it's basically going to ask us to complete the uh, security. Now we're going to obviously do that. So we're going to get a text from Binance. Put in the code that Binance have sent me. 
and then go over to our emails and Binance would have sent us uh, an email as well with another code. So we're going to literally pop that in and we'll just wait for that email to, to populate and then we're going to click submit. Okay, so there we have it, right? We've managed to send the um, BNB to our ledger device. So what we do now is we'll head back over to our ledger we are going to confirm the address on the ledger to approve it and then click done. So basically now all we need to do is we just need to wait until Binance has sent the um, BNB to our nano ledger. So we'll just wait for that. And there we have it. We've now received the BNB from Binance. It's $18.89 is the current value of what we have on this ledger now. Uh, so yeah pretty simple stuff so hopefully this was a useful tutorial if it was mash up that like button we really do appreciate it it does support the channel and uh, let us know if there's any other uh, tutorials that you're looking for uh, happy to, to put more together check out the crypto basics um, playlist on the youtube channel and jump in our discord over three and a half thousand people talking about crypto 24 7 so do check that out and um, yeah looking forward to having some more meaningful conversations with you Thanks for watching, take care and I'll catch you in the next one.